guys, welcome back to my face gaming. Today we're going to try and get this computer working with Windows XP install. So we've got a graphics card down there in the hard drive. Let's get on with it. Okay, so, oh, sorry about that, keep the tripod. So, what we have here is a Pentium 3 computer. Pentium 3, I am very tired today, guys. Uh, it's a Pentium 4 computer with 1.5 gigs of RAM, I'm pretty sure it has. I'll just take the side panel off and I can tell you exactly what it has in here. It says an old, old computer with a 300 watt power supply. Supports Pentium 4, so that's good to Now, my video in previous videos, I will not be putting in a um, GDX 580. Instead, I'll be putting in this Radeon. X800 Pro. Wait, where is it? There it is. This is an AGP card. Let's chuck this in first. This is the easy thing to put in. Because this is the only computer I own, actually own, that can support this particular kind of graphics card. There you go. Starts in perfectly fine. Now, this is a. 40 gigabyte SanDisk, oh, SanDisk, Samsung drive, which I need to take some files, delete everything off and format it. But it's 40 gigs, we'll be able to run Windows. Now, while you guys just keep looking at that, I'll get my Windows XP professional install, which you might have not, which you haven't seen yet. Sells for Dell only, but still, this is cost me 7 bucks off eBay, so. I win and I lose them. So, let me go and format this quickly. And this is an ID, so it'll be fine. Have a couple of ID things, a couple of things here. This graphics card requires power. So, let me plug in the power to it. There you go. I'm not going to screw it in now. I will later. It doesn't really worry me at the moment. Let me go and get this dry for a minute, and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. The hard drive's there. I'm going to install it. And do all this. Drive. And just plug it in. Plug, plug, plug. Plug. Come on, plug. Good, and just plunk her here for now, and I need to um, check something, let's check how many stick, let's just take you down a bit. So it seems to only have two population sticks around in there, so you can only populate two. So, let me take a couple of sticks. Okay, there you go. I'm going to get a um, pack with this power supply, and I'll be right back. Right. I'm back. And I've got the mains power cable. Let us plug her in. Ooh, that graphics card fan doesn't sound too good. Ah, oh, silly me. Completely forgot a monitor in that. So, if oh, I scratch my workbench, who cares? I can buy a new tops for this if I want. I'll get my monitor. Let me go through all my messy studio. Yes, the studio is a lot messier than it used to be. Uh, one day. One day. 
Here's the studio monitor. Um, I'm going to use DVI. And just my bench back. So I'm going to use some of the monitor. This is about 4 USB ports, 2 PS2 ports, serial, VGA and motherboard, uh, free sound and printer cable, parallel printer cable. But anyway, let's try this again. Oh, you're kidding me, aren't you? I don't know. There you go, now the monitor's on. Come on. Please work. Okay. So we might be in the goods. Let me unplug the power supply. Let's hope for the best. Maybe the DVI spots busted. In that case, and maybe it was, oh, maybe I'm not even no signal. Okay, so we're troubleshooting now pretty much. I don't know, at least in the motherboard. Maybe we'll have something from the motherboard. No signal, okay. Very strange. Maybe just move this monitor out of the way. Oh yeah, it might be a graphics card for There you go you guys. One gig RAM there. It's two point four gigahertz. Pentium four. Mm. Let's go F five. There we go. Mm, doesn't have a C much special here. It's got two five DDR three 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 three. So this is Old man, advanced point configuration, chipset configuration. Do we actually not know anything we can do there? Can we overclock? Time controls. Zero says. Oh, well, that's just saying it's got nothing in it, so. There we go. Sorry about this, guys. Um, we should get 
the beep. Well, what's happening? We can undo this. Careful when you use a Stanley knife, kids. You know, if anyone is a kid. This is from 2002. So this is new old stock. So, pretty much like this. Now it's time to just do it. Oop! Oh, I just dropped something. Let's just turn this off. Reinstallation this. Tutorial. I have a super good idea. So this is a reinstallation disk. So let me get this out. From Dell, so let's restart this computer. See if this can do anything for us now. Okay. So, I move the IDE cable and press restart. Okay, this is going to be a long video. Okay. We'll do it the old fashioned way. Hence why I call it the old fashioned way. Mm -hmm. There we go, good. CMOS GPU and check some bad, it means, of course, why would it be? System vast memory speed, so. Just go into the BIOS again. Listen to that Windows thing. Hmm. Okay, right, guys, I'm about to install this disk. Need a bit from CD. Let's see what if it recognizes any. Oh, here we go, guys! Here we go, guys! System is loading files. Okay, guys, I'm gonna just crack my fingers right now, and you'll be time lapsed.
guys, I'm going to have to pause you here while this goes. <sighs> we'll get to it when it's uh, finished. Here we go, guys. I am um, next day. I've had to redo it all again, reformat. But here we are on the normal screen. It's been a very long video. Two days in the making. going to be a lot of editing. So it's going to take a while to come out. It's still this is an installment painting for Windy Ram. Music and entertainment just got better. Uh. 